Go on, everyone. It's Friday. We celebrate the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With As we go through life, again, a lot of things uh, change. A lot of the way we look at people changes. Sometimes we only hear part of a story. Other times we hear false, or as, as President, former President Trump would say, sometimes it's fake news and we believe it. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on the things we hear. We really need to be able to filter those things that we so often believe. For the times we fail to appreciate our blessings, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant that through her intercession and example we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night I sought him, whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city. In the streets and crossings I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchman came upon me as they made the rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left him when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to him that you have been radiant with joy, and your face may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord at all times. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with you Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. And when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him. Jerry said to, Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabbani, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop holding on to me for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and tell my brothers and tell them that I'm going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And I remember studying this in the seminary, and one of the teachers said to us, I often wondered what it means, do not cling to me. Um, and I've not yet ascended to the Father. And he said, I often wonder if that means, do not cling to me because this isn't heaven. We know that so very well. 
this isn't heaven. And yet, some people call it purgatory. Some people have even called it hell. But it certainly isn't heaven. A few years ago, I read an article called Walking Toward the Storm by Samuel Wells. And in the article, they were talking about a rugby match that took place um, in uh, Scotland. And actually, uh, Edinburgh is where the actual final game was taking place. And apparently, it's a, over there, it's a very, very um, well-known story there and in England. Well, it turned out that in 1990, I'm going to read it to you, the European Rugby Union Championship lay in the balance. Scotland and England had both won all their matches, and England traveled to Edinburgh for their final game, with the winner taking the coveted Grand Slam. And this was perhaps the finest in Scottish rugby history. But the defining moment came before it started. The England players ran onto the field to a largely hostile reception. But the Scots captain, David Soule, did something different. He led his team out on a stately walking pace. It was an iconic moment. It said, there is nothing you can throw at us that we can't deal with. We're going to win this game. I'm going to walk right toward you, and we will not be overcome. And that's exactly what happened. England threw everything they could at Scotland, but to no avail. And apparently, David Soule's walk became part of Scottish folklore. I think for all of us, that's kind of an important thing to remember, because sometimes the odds can seem so great. Sometimes everything that we can see seems to be against us, or the odds are just impossible to be able to somehow pull out of this thing. But again, sometimes we have to do what he did. Sometimes we have to trust that things are going to work out. Maybe not always in this life, but maybe it comes in eternal life. And maybe that's not good enough sometimes. I'm not saying it always is. But I think the most important thing is the ultimate truth. And if that is our ultimate truth, we can get by these difficult things in life. We can get by the simple heartaches, the simple headaches. We can get by the huge heartaches and the migraine headache, headaches as long as we know that what happens after death is eternal life. So as we approach the weekend, as we get ready to prepare for the community to gather on the weekend in our churches and temples, it's important that we keep a focus on God and who God is and who God will always will be. God bless. For those people that have been examples to us and have stood by us during challenging times, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, they may learn from us not just by our words, but by our example, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need to forgive us, for those we need to forgive, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Accept the Lord the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity and was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, in every age you raise up men and women outstanding in holiness, living examples of the Christian life. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Margaret and John Hoover and Elmer and Estelle, Stella, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy. worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the reception, O Lord, of your ministries instill in us that the persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ her Master who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide us on our journey back home, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good weekend, everyone. You too.